The implementation of ICD-10 will have significant impact on your workforce. First, there will be frustration and disruption associated with a large implementation such as ICD-10. Two, there will be more work, not less, in the first six, nine, twelve months of this process. Three, your processes are going to have to change. So as you stand up a new way of coding, you may have new processes, have to eliminate old processes, but you really need to think through your processes. And finally, the critical path through an ICD-10 implementation will be your coders and coding. And so a significant amount of forethought will be required to make sure that that does not become a limiting factor. We've talked about the risks with your workforce. Here are five potential mitigation factors that will help you alleviate that risk. First, be honest that this is going to be hard. Two, Select your implementation team wisely. They will need strong program and project management skills. Three, invest in an effective ICD-10 training program. Four, your processes will change. Existing processes may either have to be streamlined or eliminated. New processes may have to be created because you will have to overlay ICD-10 on top of all your business processes. And finally, you need to involve your coders in the processes. You need to understand their competencies. You need to train them. You need to supply them with additional support systems. You need to manage the clinician to coding interface. And finally, you need to think about the soft stuff, the cultural aspects, to make sure your coders are effective and happy. It's about the people. If your people aren't ready, are frustrated, are working too hard, don't know how to do their job, this will be a very unpleasant experience for everyone. So what we've given you is some risk mitigation factors to make sure that your workforce is able to adapt to this significant change.